Welcome to the club, mate. How are you fitting into um, to Norwood so far? Yeah, it's been been really good. Um, all, all the boys have been um, very welcoming and very inviting. So coming over from Victoria, um, it was a bit of a bit of a move, but um, no, nah, the boys have helped me fit in. Yeah, very, that, that's very excellent, well. mate. Um, how have you actually gone shifting over to Adelaide? Have you, have you been over here too many times before? Nah, nah. Um, did the drive with Dad the first time. We came over and met Twig and met the, um, a few of the boys as well. So uh, it's not not too far, only about half an hour up and down when you when you fly over. But um, yeah, it's been been pretty easy shifting all my stuff, and the club's been awesome with helping me out as well. So yeah, definitely the city play. city itself. Uh, so you work in uh, parallel? Are you working in a warehouse? Are you? Yes, yes, yep. in a warehouse out in Paraka. Um, yep. So oh, yep. out that side of town, which isn't too far as yep. well. Nothing compared to Melbourne traffic, so it's pretty easy to get around. That's good, mate. Yeah. And uh, a few of the boys have they, they showed you around the club a little bit and uh, the city and where, where to go? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> plenty. <laughs> um, yeah, Ollie Sanders has been good. Sam Morris, um, Henry Nulligan, they've been good at getting me out and out and about. So um, yeah, I'm thankful for them to kind of take me under their wing and show me around Adelaide. It's yeah. been good. That's great, mate. And and you're not the only new faces. You know, yeah. eight to ten new new faces out here. Um, is it nice that you're not the only new guy that's fitting into a new environment? Yeah, it is. You can kind of bounce a few ideas off those those guys. A few boys from Tassie, um, a few back from Victoria and AFL lists and stuff like that. So you can always lean on them when you got got things you want to talk about, about moving over. And um, yeah, they've all been really good. So Yeah, that's great to hear. So you've come over from the uh, Essendon VFL. Talk yeah. us through your footy journey so far. So I grew up in a small country town, country Victoria. I was uh, in the TDFL. Talangida and District Football League, so shout out to Dedarang now, Beauty, uh, my home club. But um, then I moved down to Melbourne for year seven in high school um, and played at Duda Stars, where my old man played. Um, and then went to Western Jets to play in the TAC Cup. That's where I played my TAC Cup footy and then found my way down at Essendon after my draft year. So, yeah. yeah. So then uh, you, you shifted over to South Australia, just a, a new, new challenge in the central? Yeah, exactly right. I heard the footy's pretty good over here, so I'm really excited for a new challenge. I was at Essendon for three years and they were unbelievable for me and helped me out a lot. But yeah, just take on a new challenge and move into state might, might help me grow up a little bit as well, <laughs> moving out of home. So yeah, no, can't I'm wait. Sure you'll be fine. Did, yeah. you, did you know much about the SANFL or the club itself before you, before you moved over? Um, no, nah, not a hell of a lot, obviously. Um, there's a lot of talk between the VFL and Sandful, both being very strong leagues as well as the Waffle. Um, so, no, nah, not not a hell of a lot about it. Just that it is a really top tier, um, second tier comp. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to try my luck and see how I go over here. Nah, that's yeah. great, mate. Hopefully, you're fitting in all right. And you actually you took on a, a leadership role, only at the age of 20, captaining the Essendon VFL yeah. side. How was that experience? Yeah, it was good. Um, certainly, was uh, a challenge for me, but grew me up a lot, um, learned a hell of a lot of things, how to have hard conversations with older players and older people, so um, no, it was definitely um, a benefit to me and my football, so yeah, it was a great great challenge. That's great, and what, what do you plan to do off the field? You obviously work at the moment, you're doing yeah. study over here, or what do you plan to do? Yeah, planning to get into construction management at UniSA, yeah. um, an online course which can fit around footy. Uh, but yeah, my main goal is footy at the moment. I want to play finals over here and hopefully win a flag at the Red Leg. So um, yeah, anything that can kind of fit around my footy, that's that's the goal for me. That's awesome, mate. What yeah. can we expect on the field from your good self? Uh, hopefully a few goals. Uh, mm. Hopefully, yeah, helping the boys out to, to get a few wins. So that's my number one priority, getting the win. So. That's good. And um, I hear you're not too bad a cricketer. That, that, that's yeah. what Twig's telling me. <laughs> oh, Twig, you can't trust a lot of things he said. No, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, played played quite a bit of cricket growing up and through the pathways and that kind of thing. And probably had, a ma had to make a decision between footy and cricket come, you know, 17, 18. And, you know, swayed, swayed to footy, so. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Now, no joking, that, that you are quite a good player, but um, I hear that your uh, debut at Ross Trevor... Oh, oh don't bring that up. So that's the stitch up. To <laughs> yeah, so I, JK, um, Jacob Kennelly wrote me in for a game. I did say that I wouldn't mind playing some cricket when yeah. I got over here and uh, threw me in open the batting and made a six ball duck. So Beautiful. I can't retire on that. So <laughs> I might be back for a little bit more. That's fantastic. Yeah. Mate. Well, um, hopefully the, the cricket career picks up yeah. and uh, you play some good footy here. Yeah. So um, welcome to the club, mate. Thank and, you very um, much. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Nah, appreciate it. Thank you.